what I think would be helpful to the committee is to hear from each of you in a sentence what would a no deal Brexit mean to your sector if it happened in a few months time perhaps start with you Mr Nash um, I think for, for automotive, um, no deal simply isn't an option uh, for automotive. So just could you speak up a little bit? Sorry, for the automotive sector, I said a no deal simply isn't, a, isn't an option. Uh, simply isn't an isn't option. Isn't an option. For isn't an option. Um, to look at just two elements of it, but there are multiple elements to it. So the tariff cost, um, it will be a 10% tariff on a finished vehicle. That costs the sector 4.5 billion um, additional costs in terms of imports and exports. And if one looks at what would happen at the border, we rely on frictionless trade, so the free movement of goods across the border. That cannot be guaranteed uh, under a no-deal scenario, and that will fundamentally undermine our competitiveness and our ability to manufacture at a competitive level with the rest of the EU. So absolutely not an option for automotive. Okay, that's very clear and succinct, Mr. Neville. Um, thank you for, uh, to the committee for inviting uh, Make UK to give evidence. Um, we're very much aware of uh, a very significant number of job losses in our sector already as a direct result of Brexit. Um, we are aware of further job losses that are to come. So our members uh, are quite blunt and very clear. Uh, they say that a no-deal Brexit would be nothing short of an act of economic vandalism. It would undo 25 years of economic progress and consign a generation of highly skilled workers to the scrap heap. Yeah, the, can I just say the acoustics in this room are not fabulous. So if you see us leaning forward like this, if you could speak up, that would be great. If just to repeat the last thing that you said, Mr. Nevin. Uh, your members, members say that uh, a no-deal Brexit would be an act of economic vandalism. OK. All right, that's very clear. Mr. Rycroft. Uh, good morning. Good morning. So, so food and drink is part of our national uh, <coughs> security infrastructure. In the event of a no-deal Brexit, we would face, for exporters, uh, prohibitively high WTO tariffs. We would face sanitary and phytosanitary checks at the EU border, and we would also f find ourselves out of regulatory alignment with the mechanisms that have kept our food and drink so safe and high quality over 40 years. Okay, thank you. And Mr. von Westenholz. Uh, yes, good morning. Good morning. Um, to, to echo what, what uh, Mr. Rycroft said, um, uh, we have a very closely integrated trading relationship with the EU on agri food products, uh, around two thirds of our. Um, uh, exports go to the EU, so any significant disruption to that um, free and at the moment frictionless trading relationship will have a huge impact on the farming sector. Uh, we've been very clear that uh, no deal could be disastrous, particularly in some sectors such as the uh, sheep sector uh, where something uh, like 30, over 30% 30 of our production is exported, almost all of it, into the EU. So no deal would indeed be very worrying. Uh, just, you said no deal could be disastrous or would be disastrous? Uh, it would be disastrous. It would be disastrous. Okay.